Hey guys, Christina Regine here. Today we are making a spinach pizza quiche. I call it a pizza quiche because it is a quiche inside of a pizza crust, so I thought I'd get creative there. I don't know, it kind of looks like a spinach deep dish pizza. <laughs> and it is so good, loaded with cheddar cheese and Parmesan cheese. It is full of flavor and super delicious. Let's get started. Add two and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour to a bowl. And then add one packet of instant dry yeast. By the way, when you're using instant dry yeast like I am doing here, you do not need to put it in water so it can bloom. With this type of yeast, you do not have to let the dough rest. So now let's add one teaspoon of salt. I'm also adding a little bit of onion powder and garlic powder, and this is totally optional to be honest, but I just like to have an extra touch of flavor in my pizza crust, so you can add it if you want to, leave it out, it's not really a necessity. And then now let's add one teaspoon of sugar and whisk all of our dry ingredients together until they are well combined. And then we are going to add one cup of water and two tablespoons of olive oil. Now let's knead the dough by hand until everything is well combined and a dough comes together. So you can see how the texture of the dough looks and this is the texture we are looking for. Just make sure you get all the flour combined into it until there is like no more flour staying in the bowl. So now I am putting the dough in a bowl and um, I put some oil around the bowl to keep the dough from sticking. And then I'm just gonna cover it and let it rest for about an hour at room temperature. And let's put some flour on our work surface. And now that my dough has rested for an hour, you can see how it has gotten bigger, which is nice. That's what we're looking for. And make sure that you're putting it on top of a floured work surface. And also add some more flour on top of the dough as well, so that way you won't have it sticking all over the place. Now let's stretch out the dough, and then we are actually going to fold it over again and knead it just a little bit more. The amount of dough here could actually make two quiches or you could save half of it to make something else. So I split it in half at this point so I can go ahead and use the other half for something else. So here is the dough inside of a pie dish and I'm just going to stretch it out into the pie dish until it fits. Flatten out the dough around the pie dish until it fits well like you see here. And I'm just pressing it with my fingers just to make sure that it fits evenly over the pie dish. Using a fork, poke a bunch of holes into the crust just to make sure that it cooks evenly in the oven. Now let's make our filling. To a large pot over medium heat, add half a stick of salted butter. Once it melts, add four minced garlic cloves. Stir and let the garlic cook for a couple of minutes until it browns. Add one cup of a chopped onion. Stir and let it cook for about two to three minutes. Add one pound of spinach to the pot. Press the spinach down with a spoon as you're cooking it and let it cook until it reduces. Stir the pot and make sure that everything is well combined. In a separate bowl, whisk together four eggs and one cup of heavy cream. Add two teaspoons of onion powder. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. A quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And a pinch of salt. Whisk until combined.
Add a quarter cup of all-purpose flour and continue whisking. This is to make sure that the quiche holds together so the flour is going to give it some structure. Now let's add the mixture to the pot. Stir everything together. Now let's add one cup of finely shredded sharp cheddar cheese. And add half a cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm using seasoned Parmesan cheese here, but of course you can just use regular Parmesan. Stir until everything is well combined. And here is the mixture. Now let's transfer the mixture to the crust. Let's add some more Parmesan cheese on top. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour or until it is nice and golden brown like you see here. And it looks so good. I love it. <laughs> and here is our spinach pizza quiche. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you like this recipe. For more recipes, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!